to after I had bought it originally back in 2019, uh, 2013. Um, talking about the future again. <laughs> um, I sold off majority of what I bought into, like as far as pay, paid into, just to get my money back, and I left the rest for profit. But then it started to jump from 1200 down to four, so it crashed like really big. Um, when it, the first time it ever reached that 1200 point back in 2013. So, um, you know, it's just being patient, picking your spots, and, you know, just storing some away. You got to realize, like, hey, like, this one day could be worth $500,000 or a million dollars per coin. So if I'm storing away 0.02 a week into a wallet and just forgetting about it, you know, um, chances are you, you could be a millionaire um, when you wake up in several years, you know, mm -hmm. like anything's possible when it comes to crypto. I have plenty of friends that are literally... Uh, they were clearing out the house, and oh my god, I had five Bitcoin on this wallet. I completely forgot. And you know, now they're looking at the price, and they're like, wow, like, a, hey, now I can buy a bunch of nice things. Mm -hmm. like, and that's just kind of how it is. It's just remember that it's there, but you know, store some away and, and just hope that you know the trend continues to tick upward. Yeah, I think uh, Coin Telegraph did an article not too long ago was. Uh, if you invested ten grand a couple years ago into Bitcoin, you'd be worth like seventy or eighty million dollars off of ten grand. It's pretty hefty. That's that's a, a a come up. I think I just read an article not too long ago, even of a high school student who invested when Bitcoin was at like twenty five dollars, is now a millionaire at eighteen. So you know, you, you said anything's possible. Um, if if you have ten grand to invest now, and uh, who knows what ten years could that could turn into? You know, it's really an adoptive technology and. Adoption is everything. You know, the more people that are getting into it, the more companies that accept it, the more people that like you get into mining, the more people that get into it in any angle that you you can get into crypto, it brings value to it. And with companies like Microsoft, JP Morgan, I think you mentioned Digibyte earlier. I think they've teamed up with Minecraft. Like there's these coins have like so many big names backing them or teaming up with them. Um, you know, like the Ethereum Alliance and I mean there's just so much going on in crypto that it's it's almost like, and I don't want to say this as an investment advice because it's not, but it's almost like you can't lose money. Like, if you're long, if, you, if you're if you long in this, it has been proven, even if you paid for the $1,300 Bitcoin back when it crashed in 2013, you doubled your money at this point. So if you were long, you wouldn't have lost any money. So, like, I, that's how I feel. I'm with you with the, like, I feel like I'm playing with, like, magical internet money that could just one day would make me rich overnight. But I don't use any money I can't live without, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you were, I wanted to go back a little bit and touch on the lending. Um, so you were saying you're lending on Poloniex. It's, uh, you thought it was going to be more, but you're saying you were seeing around 15%? What? Yeah, it's 0 .1, 0 0.154, I think. So what do you think about lending platforms like BitConnect, where they don't show you any of the trades their trade bot makes, where you're getting like 1% on your loan, but you're not seeing anything. Like, do you, like, in general, do you have an opinion on BitConnect and their BCC and how they trade, or just in general not being able to see how the bot moves, but still see that you're making interest on your loan? Like, how do you feel about platforms like that versus lending on an exchange where you have all of that information? Oh, uh, I mean, like, yeah, I got, I, you know, I actually got into BitConnect as far as the coin goes because obviously any um, MLM. Um, pyramid stuff. Uh, the price is gonna jump. Um, I think it was, it was like sixteen or something like that. Um, when I first got involved with it, and it's at like, I think it was like fifty six, fifty yeah. seven dollars today. Um, you know, so like, yeah, I put, I think I put like a hundred bucks um, towards a loan, and then on top of that, I bought BCC. So just and I made money off it, and I got out. Um, you know, and then I constantly, every like couple days I go in and I literally transfer my BCC to my BitConnect wallet and then it's going to go to Bitcoin as soon as, you know, the time frames. Well, I'll, I'll withdraw Bitcoin as soon as, you know, it's enough money for it. So it's usually probably like a, once it's one BCC, I'll withdraw it and that's that. Um, but as far as that goes, you know, yeah, you can make a lot of money on that um, very quickly especially off referrals, but basically once the last person enters, it's over. Um, you're not getting your money out. I mean, that's what um, 
that's what's shown since the beginning of time when it comes to uh, pyramids. Um, you know, there's been bots, um, dice games. Um, there's plenty of others that I promise you to double your Bitcoin. But, you know, it's, it's only good as long as people keep giving. And then once people stop giving, well, the market's going to crash. And, you know, you're probably going to be stuck without your money. So would you say like that risk is worth the reward, or would you like? I'm saying if I'm asking you, hey man, what should I like? What lending platform should I use? Poloniex lending or this friggin' bot that I never seen any actual proof of lending? Like, is the r risk in BitConnect worth the reward, or is the risk on Poloniex more worth the reward? Like, just in, in your opinion. Obviously, this is not any financial or investment advice at all. Full, you know. No, there, but just like, what's your opinion on it? What would you rather do with your money now that you've done both? Uh, my majority of my money is is, is in Poland, Poland, uh, Pol Poloniex um, trading, um, simply because it's an exchange that's been around. Um, you know, it's more trusting for me. Um, and once again, blueprint. You know, someone else who's making a lot of money doing that. Um, he was the one that you know told other people about it and you know being in the crypto back room jumped on that and you know it's it's making good money um it pays a couple of my bills um per month so it's all it's going to anyway um so that's you know basically what i choose because at the end of the day like i see what i have in the account um i see how active it is and i see what it's doing and you know the open and close uh lens that are happening and everything on a daily basis so i don't have to worry about it it's not just like hey we took your money and uh we'll pay you back in a year um you know it'd be like me borrowing a hundred dollars from you and you know basically saying hey i'll give you you know 200 at the end of the year um you know that's basically uh it's a, it's a lot more trusting because it's an exchange people are trading other currencies on it constantly they're making money off fees and everything like that where it's you know they don't have to rely on the next person to deposit into there because there's always going to be people trading you know crypto um so it's a lot less risk to dump into that than it is into bcc yeah i think the bitconnect platform is like the greater full lending platform you know, once the once you hit that greater greater full mark where there's nobody dumber than you were than the last person to do it, I like what do you, like I don't want to go too deep into it, but like the BitConnect thing is like at the end of this month, if you invested twenty thousand dollars, they're allegedly supposedly having a Thailand event that they will pay for. You'll it'll all be taken care of if you invest in one shot. <clears throat> in one shot, twenty thousand dollars. Not over the one month. It has to be in one shot, twenty grand, from the first of this month till the end of this month, and they're gonna invite you all exclusive, all paid access to their Thailand event. Like how like how does that even make you feel like reading that? I'm sure it costs less to go to Thailand yourself for twenty grand. Exactly. So I think so. personally this is their <laughs> exit strategy. This month I'm hoping they're still there after this, but it sounds like a perfect exit strategy for any MLM. Yeah, I mean, it, it just depends on, you know, how long. I mean, I don't know exactly when it opened up. Um, like I said, I put it in to do the, just the, the coins itself because I figured, hey, like it's at least early on enough to make some money off Yeah, if you coins. don't lend, you have your ability to keep moving the coin as long as you don't lock it in a loan. Yeah, so... Um, so I just tested the waters, you know, and that's a very small amount for me anyway, so. Yeah, I uh, tested the same amount, same waters there. I haven't checked on how much I've made yet. That's actually like an experiment I'm doing with BitConnect to see if it is profitable without referrals. So we're going to check that out and see how I do. And uh, I made a video and told everybody not to use my referral link. So we're going to see if anybody was dumb enough to actually watch my video and then use my referral link. I hope they didn't. I hope nobody did. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's a couple of my friends, they, they saw um, they saw my posts and everything about it and everything, and, uh, you know, they got out. Um, I know people that asked me my opinion on it, and I told them no, and they still do it. So it was like, all right, well, if you're going to take my advice and do the opposite, at least now I have a referral link. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to sit here and have a 30-minute conversation with you about why you shouldn't use a platform, and you're still going to go ahead and do it, 
the least you could do is use my referral link to the platform I don't approve of. <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense, but it's like, it's like a dual shame on you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you deserve, it's almost deserved upon. Like, how I feel when people signed up for the website. Like, my video is, I couldn't stop laughing. Did you see my BitConnect video? It was such a joke of a website. The user interface was not intuitive. You couldn't easily add money, take money, lend. It wasn't, like, user-friendly. So that you, you were going to be confused the entire time you're trying to use this website. And then there's spelling errors, and I highlighted all these issues. There's no white paper that I can find. There's no open source information. There's no trading information. It's just really weird. So, like, I can sit there for a half hour, talk to people. Don't do this. Here's why. Good idea, good point, but I'm still going to do it because I saw somebody making money. So... That's, yeah, I mean, if you have the money to do it, you know, it hey, has, if you yeah, want to dump ten grand and you want to do it under a referral, well, they're gonna make, you know, a good amount off of you. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, you have the ability to make a lot of extra money off of that, but at the end of the day, um, you know, you have to weigh the risk. Yeah, there's better options, you like know. you said, Poloniex is a better option. Yeah, the lending bot, um, you know, it does everything for you, and it's in your account, so you have yes, access. to I love funds, that. You can pull it whenever. What's the they're, shortest they're lend lens. you can do? Yeah, two day, two day lens. Two day lens. So I mean, uh, two days is nothing. Um, and you can auto renew, so it could actually be forever. Yeah. So basically, it just keeps lending pretty much the bot. Yeah, but you can turn two off auto lens. and get your money back in two days at the longest. Yeah. I love that about the Poloniex lending. I actually just checked out more of that because I have some coin I actually do want to loan and just see what I can do with it and can kind of compare that to like a bank account with the same amount of money sitting in it kind of show people like what a year of lending can do versus a year of savings that the bank can do so i'm interested to do something like that because the lending platform on poloniex is amazing i'm really happy you brought it up i like it i like the security behind it and they show you the trades yeah and i mean it's it's another thing i'm having uh you know my tax guy look into as well because if i'm making the 15 percent there you know how much of that can i put towards you know what i have to pay in taxes at the end of the year since i have to i'm working as a contractor and i get paid in crypto so uh It'll be very interesting for sure. That's smart that you're taking that into consideration now rather than cross that bridge while it's burning later because personally, full disclosure, if the IRS is watching, I am so like, I don't know. I have no clue what I have, what I paid for, what I'm holding. I have so much crypto, it's missing. Like, I don't even know what I have. Sometimes I open my phone and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I had like 13 wallets on my phone and I'm going through all the wallets and I'm like, yeah, good luck IRS.